this is your captain speaking. We are descending into Louisville, Muhammad Ali International Airport. Thanks for flying Real of Fortune Airlines. Now you know you can't rush perfection. Oh, but I can rush and I am rushing you. Your manuscript was supposed to be due to me two weeks ago. Deadlines, deadlines. I have as much writing on this as you do. Okay, okay. I just want another bestseller. I mean, I'm not sure if- Wait, wait, wait. I might have something actually. Can I call a friend? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, hold on. Tilden, I am sending over the details of what I found and your ticket. However, you will need to leave tonight to Kentucky. Oh, welcome to Shop of Shops. How may I help you? Yes, my name is Tilden Keoffer, and my agent said that you had something for me. Oh, most certainly. I'll get it for you. This suit was possibly worn by the first, if not the first, serial killers in the U.S. Are you talking about the Park Brothers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been said that vengeful spirits have a way of attaching themselves to objects. The brothers were caught and executed all to please the crowd. But the spirit was so evil. <laughs> I couldn't be buried in the ground. A pioneer's trail reflects the action of deranged brothers who had no limits to who they killed except no harm brought to one another. The Harp brothers killed for fun, for gain, and to steal others' possessions. Even killing their own children, they showed no remorse, regret, or affection. It all began with an innocent man who stopped to write a note. Little Harp with greed in his eyes and an obsession to own his coat. Without a word, as he turned, he slit the poor man's throat.
standing over one corpse as innocents flee and cry. Only pause for a brief taste of glorious sweet potato pie. It's been said that vengeful spirits have a way of attaching themselves to objects. 